below of five things that you would want in your dream apartment. But hey, y'all, and today we're gonna be building my dream apartment. I actually don't know what my dream apartment looks like, so how about we go on Google and look at some pictures? Yes, I typed in dream apartment. Now, to be honest, I have like two things that I want in an apartment, and uh, one would be like maybe on the beach, like this picture, or somewhere in the city with a ton of buildings around. I think that would look really pretty. But I have two things that I want in a view, but you know what? We're not gonna talk about the view for now. We're looking at the inside. So first of all, there are penthouses that have multiple floors and things like that. I really want to keep it one floor just because it is an apartment. I mean, we could have like a loft situation like this, but um, I'm not really for that at the moment. So how about we go to luxury? There are luxury dream apartments and that is what we're going to pick because I mean, who doesn't want to live in luxury, you know? So this is something that I really like. I like minimalistic stuff, but I really like windows. So windows are like my biggest thing in a dream apartment. I would want like you know ceiling to floor windows so that's exactly what we're gonna add there is this one that is a high ceiling apartment um i mean come on i would love this so i mean i have to add high ceiling to my apartment because that's a dream this is also another pretty one i don't really like it too much just because the kitchen is really close to like the living space and stuff like that so we're not gonna do that this is a 21 for 21 million dollar penthouse that's insane this one is kind of nice as well i do really like the high ceiling ones so i think we're gonna go with that so how about we just start building and see what it goes with so let's go ahead and go into walls and i mean i would like a you know a um circularness we can't really make circulars in blocksburg but we'll try so all of this is going to be window i mean ton of glass we love glass and this is going to be the the living room area over here let's make it a little bit of a high ceiling oops i messed up so that's going to be the living room but we also need like an entrance and things like that so i, I need more pick i'm going to type in a luxury apartment entrance um and see what i can find i know they usually have like a nice door you know or they have like an elevator that goes to their own apartment um they have a little foyer area you know like that's pretty popular to have like a foyer um or whatever it's called so i think that's what we're gonna do so that's gonna be my living room which is something that i want like right when you enter almost so we're gonna close this off though because we're gonna add a little middle area so let's do that real quick and this is where i am going to enter in to the place we'll have a little middle area and then it'll be open to the living room over here with a ton of windows and then we'll have the kitchen on this side so we'll have a kitchen a little dining room table and we're also gonna add another sphere to this area a little bit like that so we can have like the dining table over there and i think that would look really cute and then from the foyer also we can go to the bedroom so we're gonna add a bedroom right over here i don't want it next to the living room just so it can be off um if you have people over or anything like that you know we can also add a little guest room which is what i'm gonna do so let's add a little guest room right over here and then of course both of them will be getting their own bathroom so let's close this off a little bit and then of course we have to make a luxurious bathroom so let's do that right there and then we'll have another bathroom over here so that would be my dream penthouse basically apartment i mean it's pretty big to be honest it could be a house at this point but it's an apartment okay i think we also need to make like a little, a little hallway of like where would you enter so we're gonna do that as well so pretend like i'm on the 50th floor or something um and then let's go ahead and add all the floors in and now we can finally start building this thing so for the door i would want like some really i mean this is like the front door though so i don't really want anyone looking inside so i wouldn't want really giant glass windows okay but i'm gonna add one but we're gonna close um but i mean i wouldn't mind glass windows oh also we need a balcony well we're on the first floor so a balcony wouldn't make any sense but we're gonna add one right here actually let's add one right here because <gasps> let's get a sliding door we'll just add like a decal or something because i did not account for that i'm gonna get like a double door frame thing right i mean that kind of looks you know cheap so i'm gonna get a sleek pivoting door i think that would look really good maybe we can add like two of them i think two would look good okay so that's what we're gonna add right there and we're gonna have a little balcony over there um this is gonna be the front door where we will add some curtains or whatnot let's just add a curtain to this and then also since i was here i also totally forgot about this little intercom doorbell we have to add that because i mean it's a luxurious apartment we're actually gonna put this on the side over there and then we're also gonna get a cool little doorbell right there and since this is a luxurious place i always think of marble so i would want some marble in the hallway 
um, before coming into my apartment, of course. When I think of luxurious stuff, I think of black and white. I don't know why, but that is just a color scheme that I really like. I don't really want to use that for the whole house, basically, or the apartment, per se, just because in Bloxburg, it doesn't look that good. Um, but we're going to try to work our way around it. But we're gonna add some black and white curtains as well there we go and then you would go into my apartment so this would be inside my apartment we're gonna have some marble floors um and then for the walls i think we're just gonna do some white i guess and then we'll also add some wall trimming wall trimmings just make things look expensive okay i feel we also might do a little bit of designing um with uh what you call it with some structural items if i can do so so we'll see how that goes but i think we're gonna do a little bit of a gray moment over here i'm gonna add the doors first i'm just gonna add a ton of these doors i feel like they're just like they're really expensive looking um so that's what we're gonna add i'm gonna keep this open so let's go ahead and go back into doors and try to find a here it is a traditional wall uh door frame here i want it to be uh, ceiling to roof i mean this is the only one that has it but it's it's smaller than i want it can i scale this oh <gasps> i can scale it never mind guys we're fine okay let me scale it to be a little bit bigger there we go now we're talking and then i'm just gonna make that into black there we go and then since this is the front entrance i feel like we have to have a little you know a little luxurious table here where is that expensive table we're finally gonna use the verge guys okay we're gonna add this right there now i would personally add a statue to be honest but um like a statue on top oh <gasps> we could add this statue not gonna lie it would be really cool to walk into somewhere where they have like a big giant statue so that's what i'm gonna do i mean hey this is my dream okay i mean to be honest uh, some of these decorations would probably not be what i would add um just an fyi i'm just trying to use what blocksburg has so a hundred percent of this is not really like what i really want want but most of it is like the style and for sure like on the sides i would have a giant plants i mean these plants are just a little too small for my liking um for the area but it's gonna go with it and then i really wanted to add some structural like designs again i'm not the best at structural designs but i want to try like making it some stuff i would have a lot of like random details to be honest because i feel like that's just what makes it look a lot more unique you know like i feel like if i got like my own penthouse or anything like that i would want something that would be unusual you know because like why have some when you have a gigantic penthouse you know what i mean but i would for sure have like some uh molding and things like that like this probably it is so uneven but we're gonna add it again over here if i can oh no i need to move things okay i'm gonna go ahead and add this to all of the areas and then we'll be right back and then we could probably work on the living room area next okay these outlines are no way shape or form perfect but hey if you don't stare at them too long they look fine so that's what we have there and now let's go ahead and work on the uh what do you call it the living room and the kitchen area i'm gonna do the diagonal border here um i want it a little bit darker i feel like the black is just too dark maybe we'll go with a little bit of a gray moment i think that'll be nice and then we have the high ceiling i think i'm gonna bring out the high ceiling through the whole thing so let me go ahead and copy and paste this on the top and then we'll go ahead and add a roof real quick there we oops not there so we have a roof as well so this would be our high ceiling uh, living room area so let's just start with the bottom and first and foremost like i said i really want like windows for my walls so we're just gonna get a ton of windows and put them everywhere and i think the best window would be uh uh, this large modern window just because it does go to the floor okay i have literally put a ton of windows and it might be like oh my gosh you have like no privacy but hey you have like automatic remotes to like you know close them or like make them tinted so no one can see them in you know there's just so many ways to make it like privacy protected so i think you'll be fine and it just looks really good with a ton of windows and i really like it so i mean that's just my taste and then also while we're here i'm gonna go ahead and add some wall trims as well we also need to color the the walls i'm just gonna make the white i know it's a lot of white but i mean i feel like in real life i would have like wallpaper or something that's cute i don't really know what i would do um but just so it could be a little bit brighter i'm gonna make them white i probably should have changed the color of the walls before painting not painting putting these windows down because now it's a little bit hard it's a little tricky okay i'm also gonna add some molding to the walls i think it looks good there i don't know i'm just gonna i'm gonna add it and we're gonna see okay i went ahead and added some molding i don't even know if it looks any different i would put them on the bottom but again there's just so many windows it doesn't even matter so now we have the living room area um and then i would have like a floating 
fireplace i feel like or something like that which blocksburg doesn't have so like most of the things that i can't really have and i'm too lazy to build them myself but actually maybe we should delete these two windows and add a little fireplace i would for sure go with something a little bit more elegant like this um instead of like this modern one for the ease of it i think i'm going with the modern one just because it goes all the way up to the ceiling and then on the top over here we're going to delete those as well and just go ahead and add some uh basic shapes so so we can close off the area oh <gasps> actually maybe we could just like add a base okay wait 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 we're going back hold up let's go ahead and add this elegant fireplace oh my gosh i added another one let's go ahead and add this up for now and then we can add basic shapes and just bring them all the way up i guess can i put one on top oh <gasps> i can okay perfect Let's just do that then. Now, this kind of looks weird. So I think I'm gonna just like place this in the back right here. And then, oh yeah, okay, wait. Now with the fireplace. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna indent it a little bit. There we go. Let me place this a little bit back. Cause you know, the outside doesn't really matter. I'm not, I don't really, I don't really care about the outside. And it's only poking through nothing. So it's fine. And then we're just gonna copy and paste this. Put this on top. And then I do need to shrink this cause it's way too tall. Okay, there we go. And there we have it. We have a nice little elegant fireplace. The sides are a little bit weird as well. So maybe Maybe I should put like some on the side. I don't know. Okay, I was trying to make some little cubes and things. It's just not gonna work out. We're just gonna deal with how it looks, okay? That's what we're going with. I think it looks good. You know, if you don't stare at it for too long, it's fine. So we have that there, and then we're gonna go ahead and add a carpet. Again, I would have some cool carpet design or something, uh, but we're just gonna deal with what we have here. I don't really like that, Never mind. Maybe like a little bit, there we go. We're just gonna deal with what we have here. It's not gonna be the best looking thing ever, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll go with it. Again, I would have some cool textures and things like that. That, but and then also the coffee table i don't think it would be anything like this but we're just picking what blocksburg has okay if i could make custom furniture in like five minutes i would but it would take me years we're gonna use these sophisticated sofas here because i think these are cute yeah okay let's use these we're gonna go with a little bit of an l moment here i love these type of sofas because it's just so comfy um and then on this little corner i think we're gonna add one of those uh what is it the hairpin ones that are like little lounges yes this one little lounge chair again Again, I don't know if it's gonna fit. Oh no. Okay, maybe we should add a piano. I think a piano there would be looking pretty spooky. Let's get the white. <gasps> oh my gosh, it looks so good there. But it's just, it's such a tight space. Okay, we might need to move a couple of things. I really like that there. So we're gonna go ahead and just move this whole couch. Can I take this whole couch with me? Oh no, I can't. <gasps> there it is. Okay, maybe if it's this way, it looks a little better. I don't know, man. We're just going with it, okay? Uh, everything is not for size or something, but I'm just doing the shape. Okay, I'm doing the basics. And then we'll add a TV over here, of course. There we go. Let's go ahead and color these up as well. Now, I do feel like this is just like really long. Okay, I think I fixed the couch, you know, issues here. Um, and that's what we're gonna go with. Um, so we have that area there, and then this area it goes to the outside. So I, I would have like a cool statue again or something cool in the middle over here. I wonder if there's any more statues that I can use. I don't have the, uh, the dang garden stuff unlocked. I would put like a nice little garden statue but like this cupid statue is the only one but i would have like a cool statue here or something you know um like an art piece in the middle and then you would go outside and then over here would have a nice little kitchen so let's add the kitchen so i added the kitchen and added a little bit of a counter because i think a counter would be a step back here and then we need a little table as well which i did not account for either because now it's too small so i am just i'm just really bad at um, sizing apparently but we're gonna get a, a little dining table here let's go and see which dining table speaks to me i would go with a dining table like this or something and then we would get a little bit of a chair um not really sure what chairs i would get maybe something like this probably not though i really like um if i had a penthouse guys i'm just saying i would have like weird art designs i don't know i feel like if i would be like a millionaire i would get weird stuff so any of this stuff that i'm using right now would probably not be what i would be using but I'm using what I have available, okay? Also, this wall over here is a little bit bland, so I was thinking maybe we could like add a fountain. Oh, it's quirky. I don't really like it though. You know, comment down below if you guys like this. Like, is it like weird? I feel like we need weird stuff in here. Maybe if I like actually line it up. I was trying not to line it up to make it look cooler, but now I think I just made it worse by not lining it up. Okay, this one's a little hard to line. There we go. Okay, it's lined up, but it's not the same because of this little spacing over here. I don't know if I like it, guys. I don't think I like it. Also, I was wondering what to add in the middle. What if I just add... No, I can't add a fountain there, guys. It's too small. I was like, what if I just add a fountain here? No, that's not gonna work. But that's the living room area, and I mean, that took so long to do. So I guess we have to make a part two, but before we 
we make a part two. I think we should add some chandeliers, do the outside, um, try to like find a picture, and then we will come back if you guys enjoy this, and we'll finish up the dream apartment. So leave a like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below if I should make a part two where we'll add more details. You guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong and all that. And then also we'll do the two bedrooms because the bedrooms, I want them to be luxe. We're gonna make like master bathrooms and then also like giant closets. I think that'd be, because I don't really wanna rush this. I feel like all the stuff that I always rush because I'm like, oh, I gotta finish the video, but I'm like, why don't we just make two parts, you know? We should make two parts. But I'm gonna go on the top floor here and we're gonna start putting some of these antique chandeliers. Like I for sure would get chandeliers. So that's what we're adding. And then we're just gonna copy and paste this to the kitchen over here. Um, and then we'll also add one. We can't add one in the middle cause that's not a high ceiling. Actually, I would love a high ceiling here because I mean, come on, imagine the entrance then. So we're for sure adding another high ceiling over here. Okay, it's not hitting the statue. <gasps> Guys, I would so live here. Like, oh my gosh, can I just, can I just move in? Can I just like become a, like a little NPC and just go into Bloxburg. Okay, but now since this is here, I'm like, can I just make the, oh my gosh, I can't. No, I can't. Darn it, I was like, I want this whole place to be open then. You know, like I would want this whole, whole area to be open. So I'm like, let's just not add a wall then, right? Let's just not add a wall, but then maybe we add like that wall, you know, like a little bit of a wall, but not fully a wall. I don't know if I, I think I like, I think I like that better because it's not fully a wall, but it does hide a little bit of the stuff. And then we're just gonna copy and paste the molding. There we go. Okay, not too shabby. I think I like it. There we go. Okay, we have that entrance there. We're gonna paint this up again. We have some chandeliers in place. Okay, the middle is a little bit too dark. So let's just add, oh no. Just add another chandelier in the middle. I mean, you can't have too many chandeliers, right? I think you can, but you know what? That's, that's good. And then we're gonna close this off as well. I'm also gonna delete these. Oh no, now this is, I forgot this is a high ceiling. Oh, there's water. I mean, like I was already delete this anyway so we're not having that i oops i need something for this wall guys like there there has to be something good for this wall because i don't know what to add we're also going to delete these windows over here just because it is going to like this area so we just need something for this area comment down below what i should add i want something cool um maybe some like art designs or something I don't know. and now on the outside we're not gonna really have like an outdoor area but i will add some walls um and then we can add some paintings i guess and we're gonna grab this and now we have to pick the view do i want the beach view or do i want the city view i'm gonna go with the city view for just now just because that's like you know what people always have so we'll we'll do that i do need a giant picture though because like it needs to expand the whole thing so i'm like do i have to make my own i don't know i think we're gonna have to make my own so we're gonna do city view wallpaper and then we're gonna cut them so then we can use them for the whole thing now we need a view that will look like you're looking through a window which i would use this one but it looks like i'm in the sky so we're not using that now this one has the water and the city so i'm like mm, maybe we could use this okay we're gonna download this and use this for now if i want to change it i can change it, but I think this is good for now. So I tried cutting and pasting and it didn't really work out so well. So I think we're just gonna go with this idea. I don't know if it's gonna work fully, but we're gonna try. So this is the issue. This little painting only expands this much and I need to like fill up the whole area. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. But for now, um, we're just gonna leave it like that. So the part one tour, here it is. Here is part one of building my dream apartment. It is not completely done, of course. We might need a part two. So again, if you guys wanna see a part two make sure you like and subscribe but for now we have like the main area done um we have the kitchen and the living room and then we have an idea of like what to put outside uh but we still need a lot more details we still need to do the bedrooms and all that so we still have a lot left but this is what we have so far but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you like subscribe and turn that notification bell so you guys never miss a video and if you guys have any ideas let me know down in the comments below and i'm gonna try to fix this painting before the next video because it's bothering me so i'm gonna go do that that right now.